Welcome assassins to the craziest episode of Hitman in this series so far. In this episode I'm going to be doing the challenges Waterboy, Wicker Man, Gunslinger, No Birds Here, Swamp Thing, Chameleon, and not exactly Ulcer Pills. You may be wondering why are you shooting those people? What are you doing? Don't worry. It's all part of the plan because there are going to be no survivors this episode. Pretty much everybody in here is gonna die, so it doesn't matter that I'm killing these two people. You'll see why in a moment. In a moment. You unlock the challenge Water Boy by starting up here in the water tower like I did. First thing I'm gonna do is grab the Scarecrow Disguise. Literally the most important part of this episode is this disguise. Gotta wait for the right moment to take it though. Make sure nobody's looking, nobody's watching. Okay, and now I'm going to sneak back to the water tower. Just gotta wait for those two guys in front of me to kind of move off a little bit. And then I should be good to go. Alright. Now I did ask for the ICA to leave me a sniper rifle at the top of the water tower. Similar to the sniper assassin episode. But now I'm going to summon a curse upon Colorado. There are four bells that I can shoot to in the distance. And if I shoot them in the correct order as a scarecrow, you will see what happens. I don't want to spoil it just yet. But here's the first one. <clears throat> Excuse me. Alright. And there's a little bug on the Xbox to where some of the bells don't actually sound out when you hit them. But I'm pretty sure I hit that one. Here's the second one. Probably the hardest one to hit. And again, this one doesn't sound out, but I think I did hit it. Here's the third one. That one sounded, of course. And then the final one. I think it's like right... There we go, right there. Okay. So once you hit all four of those bells dressed as a scarecrow, you unlock the challenge Wicker Man. And you also gain a very impressive ability. Check this out. Did you hear that? Did you hear that? Somebody screaming in agony? Yep, anybody you come close to will spontaneously combust into fire and die screaming and kicking a miserable death. That's Wicker Man for you. Pretty cool stuff, huh? I would say so. So, I'm trying to avoid Penelope or any other target for right now. I don't want to kill them just yet, and you'll see why soon. Now, there is a challenge called No Birds Here to pose as the Scarecrow in several different positions in the map. That was the first one there where you originally get the okay, Scarecrow disguise. The second one's around here, but let me run around and kill some people first. Isn't this just ridiculous? I think it's ridiculous. I'm gonna go ahead and put on the Chef disguise real quick to count for the Chameleon challenge. And then quickly turn back into the Scarecrow so I can keep burning people up. So, with the Chef Disguise, I only have one more that I need to put on for Chameleon, and that's gonna be the Hacker Disguise, which I'll do a little bit later on. It's gonna burn up a ton of people. So you can have all the fun you want with this disguise on. And I'm definitely gonna partake in my share of fun. And again, I'm avoiding killing the actual targets for now. It's a very good reason for that. 
But there is another scarecrow post here that I need to pose at. For the no birds here challenge. But Penelope was pretty much standing right where it is the whole time. And again, I'm trying to avoid her. But she's moving off, so we're good. Let me go kill that guy right there. Alright, so here's the second one. Man, who's looking at me that I can't freaking blend in? Alright, there you go. That's the second one. Yeah, keep burning. So I'm going to come out here towards the apple orchard. There's going to be a third scarecrow posing spot right here. So that's number three. Oh, this is so much fun. How can you not enjoy this? So there's another scarecrow post around here. Let me just clear out the area first. All right. All right, so that's the fourth one. There are two more. It's a good amount of people here to burn up. Now, don't think you're invincible. If people see you from a distance, they can still shoot at you before you can get close enough to burn them and you can easily die that way, so you still have to be somewhat careful. I want to avoid Maya for now. Look at that guy. Excuse me. Excuse me. Oh my god. So a lot of people to kill here. Just going to clear out the barn. this area as well. Plenty of guards here. Let me empty the garage too. There we go. Alright, so here is the fifth post. So there's only one more. But first things first, uh, there's a gunslinger challenge here, and I'm gonna do something I never do. I'm gonna save. I recommend you save there too, because you gotta shoot all the green bottles within 5 seconds, and it's kinda tricky. I try not to save in my playthroughs, but... Come on, what video is this, like 103 or something? And it's the first time I'm saving? I think I deserve it every once in a while. So if you do manage to shoot the green bottles within 5 seconds, you unlock the challenge Gunslinger. I already had it unlocked, that's why it didn't pop up for me. But that was definitely under 5 seconds. Here's the final post. But I'm not gonna go there just yet, let me kinda clear up the area. Alright, so this is the final one, and once you have posed in all six of them, you unlock the challenge, no birds here. That is Maya Pavant. 
Now the reason why I wasn't killing some of these targets at first is because there's another challenge to dump all four of them in the swamp. So let's do that. So if you got burned these targets, some of the other guards would actually run around and try to zip them up in body bags and drag them away. And then you can't get those bodies to dump them in the swamp. So then you can't unlock the challenge. So the challenge is called Swamp Thing and you basically have to dump all four targets there. So it's going to have a lot of dragging to do. But I'll do some fast forwarding through that. So it's not agonizingly slow. So now I'm just going to chase down the mission targets. Let me clear out the house here a little bit. Gonna have to climb in through the window. Alright, Ezra Berg. So I'm gonna have to drag him all the way to the swamp. The slurry pit. So let's do it. It's gonna be a slow dragging process. Oh my god, that wasn't even Ezra. I picked up the wrong body. What am I doing? Where's Ezra? Oh, I just walked on top of him. Okay, back out. What a disaster. Come on, Ezra, let's go. So that is two targets in the slurry pit. Let's go chase down Sean and Penelope. Clean up the area a little bit first as well so people don't see me dragging the body and shoot at me. That would be a disaster. Looks like she's in the greenhouse. Let me just make sure there's no one else around here that I can burn up. Looks like we're okay for now. Yeah, the perimeter is pretty clear. So to the pits. Alright, Penelope, go join your friends. Be free and swim in the muck. Alright, so I only have Sean Rose left. And I have to go find him. Hopefully he's not too far away so I don't have to drag him across the entire map. But you can see this place is pretty cleaned out. Not many people left here. And I think he's in the house. Damn it, he's in the house. Alright, if I get shot right now, I'll be so pissed. Alright, he's he turned his back. Big mistake. I guess I'll hang out here a little bit, see if Sean comes this way. Let's do that. 
Alright, I've been here for like five minutes. He hasn't moved. He's still in the house. So we're just gonna go in there. Let's do it. Thankfully, the house doesn't catch on fire. We just clean up. Get this whole troop brigade here. Brigade, sorry. I'm like mumbling. It's too late at night. 4.30 in the morning. Can you believe that? What am I doing? Alright, let's drag this guy. And that is the fourth friend to join in for the swim. And as you can see, the challenge swamp thing unlocks once you've done all that. So now there's only a couple more things to do. I need to get the face mask so I can enter the tornado shelter. And also put on a hacker disguise so I can complete the chameleon challenge. And there's also another secret little challenge that I'll show you guys. Everything is here in the farmhouse. So first things first, everybody's dead. But no one must know what happened here. No one must know. So let me delete some of the evidence. Somebody's just gonna come here and find like a hundred bodies and not have a clue as to what happened. Looks like everyone up here is already dead too. So there we go. If you've been watching my videos, this is the final disguise that I hadn't put on yet. The hacker disguise and that unlocks the chameleon challenge. Perfect. So let me get my face mask going. There we go. And before I head into the basement, there's one final thing left to do. And these two fellas died playing video games. Isn't that nice? So if you actually play the video game, you unlock a challenge called Not Exactly Ulcer Pills. And I think I have to be dressed as the hacker if I'm not mistaken, and clean the couch first. You need a clean couch if you're gonna play video games. That's the most important part. So let me get the hacker disguise real quick and play the game. There you go. That unlocks the challenge, not exactly ulcer pills. So that's it. Now I'm only gonna get out of here. I did promise you the craziest episode in the series so far, and I think this has lived up to it. I don't think anybody would argue with that. There's probably a few survivors straggling around finding bodies, but for the most part, everyone's dead. They all burned up into a crisp. The two guys in the beginning were lucky. They got shot in the head, didn't even know what happened. Died quickly. Everyone else, roasted alive. Roasted alive. Even this guy. Even the guy getting interrogated got roasted alive. Nobody was spared. So I hope you guys enjoyed this episode, and I'll see you on the next one.